I'm Jason Park. I'm a sports physical therapist as well as a Muay Thai coach and a boxing coach. I started here at Boxing Works when I was 15, so about 16 years ago, and then traveled to many other great gyms and had the opportunity to work with a lot of great fighters, um, which led me back to here where I completed my graduate program and became a physical therapist. And now I work in both ways, both as a coach and as a physiotherapist for a lot of fighters. Um, we're here at Boxing Works, which is my original gym, my home gym. Uh, one that I returned to after I came back from Thailand and I continue to work with a lot of the fighters to this day. One of the things that makes Boxing Works really special is that we're a traditional Muay Thai gym. Uh, what that means is we try to train Muay Thai in lots of different ways, but a lot of the ways that it's trained in Thailand. But when people say traditional, what is traditional? Martial arts constantly changes, it evolves. And you can see that with how Muay Thai was the original sport of kickboxing and all these other karate, kung fu, you know, American boxing, they all had an influence on Muay Thai and developed different kickboxing sports around the world, in Japan, in Europe, in America, in Russia. And now you see it, this blending of the world again where Muay Thai and people from Thailand, people from England who train in pure Muay Thai rules with elbows and knees have to adjust to rules like in K1 and in Glory. And that's martial arts, is that it's constantly evolving. So one of the things that you'll see a lot of our fighters have is that we work through the clinch, we work a lot of knees and elbows, and we work a lot of the strong Muay Thai body kicks. Um, but for myself, and actually as Brian as well, we all have a lot of experience with Taekwondo, with Karate, when we are in our younger years. And now you see the value of it. You can see it in the UFC, you can see it in Glory. I have to pull a lot of things from my Taekwondo career to help my fighters who are coming from Shokushin, coming from Shotokan, and having them adapt with my skills in Muay Thai in this new world. Yeah, so we're very diverse and always evolving. Hi, my name is Brian Pope Choi. This is Boxing Works. We're in Torrance, California. You know, my mission I guess, is to produce the best possible, uh, not only competitors, but you know, for those that don't compete, just help help uh, you know try to help everybody kind of be the best version of themselves. And how do you do it? A whole lot of trial and error. A uh, whole lot of just trying things out. Um, you know, while giving the, uh, you know, respect and acknowledgement to my teachers in the past, um, you know, trying to convey what I've learned from them and also trying to, you know, sometimes think creatively and come up with, with other ways to do things that'll, you know, help, uh, help these kids, adults, if you will, uh, you know, achieve whatever they're trying to achieve, achieve their goals. You train them in body and mind, and uh, how do you prepare them mentally for a fight? Mentally for a fight, um, you know, I think each each athlete, in each individual, kind of has their own mental. I don't want to say issues. That makes them sound crazy, but everybody has kind of their own uh, their own concerns. Um, you know, for everybody, it's uh, I think it's. You know, quite unique for, with each person, but if I had to pick one, <clears throat> one element, one aspect that I think helps everyone out is I try to create like a checklist of uh, for them in terms of did you do your preparation? Did you eat well? Did you show up for training when you're supposed to show up for training? Did you do your uh, strength and conditioning work? And if you did these things, you know, if your checklist is in order, then yeah, you should gain a bit of confidence from that because you know you've done the work. And once you do the work, then it's uh, then it's easy to you know then it's kind of just up to what happens. You know, if you go in prepared, you don't have that doubt. If you have your checklist of preparation, then you know then you're good to go or should be hopefully good to go. So. Thank you very much.
double up with her own ID. Right. And that'll be the pretty much the end of it. The other night, all we did, we did a much simpler. <laughs> Shh, <laughs> shh,